Hey, welcome back everybody, and we're back with a new series on TTS. Um, this one is the wrench series, so everybody's kind of choosing what wrenches they find unique or they find special in their collection and uh, sharing it with everybody. Um, in my case here, I am going to talk about the Craftsman uh, Flex Head Locking wrench, Ratcheting Wrenches as well as the Indexable Ratcheting Wrenches. Um, so, uh, let's get started here. All right, so uh, it all started with this uh, locking uh, flex head ratchet. Um, my dad had got me these for Christmas back in high school when I was working on a lot of cars. And um, he thought these would be pretty cool. He had never seen anything like it. He got me these in a set for Christmas. And uh, they were my go-tos for the longest time. I, I love them. Still do. Um... And then further down the line, he saw these ones and he's like, oh, these do the opposite. These index, you know, left to right instead of forward to back. Um, I think he would like these. So he picked me up these later on. Unfortunately, that was when they stopped making them in the USA. And um, this one is not made in the USA. Whereas these ones are. Um... These ones are made by, I believe, KD Tool is who made who made these ones. Uh, part of Gearwrench's uh, uh, lineup, they still do make these uh, in both Craftsman and Gearwrench. So if you're looking for these ones, I'll post links below uh, for the uh, Gearwrench ones and some Craftsman ones if I can find links. But back to these ones. These ones are my first ones um, I picked up for Christmas from my dad. Thanks. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, they're they're solid ratchets, man. They they have strong um, ratcheting mechanism in the head, locking as you can see. Very nice, and the locking system is very similar to Matco's. Uh, ratchets uh, the way they lock so that's kind of cool I like that little switch and if you notice the switch is very slim it doesn't stick out too much take up a lot of space you're not gonna knock it while trying to operate it so thought I'd share that with you and uh, let's uh, get more into the set here these locking Flex head ratcheting wrenches come in a seven piece set. Now, as you can see, I only have six of them here. Um, 17 millimeter, I believe, is still at work. Uh, I basically just grabbed this, took it home to do the video real quick, and I think I missed the 17 millimeter. But um, yeah, still have them all. Um, still all function great. I bought these, or I shouldn't say bought these, I got these back in probably 2000. Seven, maybe two thousand eight. No, I think it was like two thousand seven. So they're they're pretty old. Um, they all still work. Uh, I don't use them as often anymore because I don't work on too much metric stuff. Um, but they are good to have around. And to be honest with you, I kind of am afraid to use them with excessive torque due to the fact that they are not made in USA anymore. But you could still find them. I have a few links that I will post below to eBay where people are selling these sets. But the prices are pretty up there uh, for what they are. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned before, several different positions. You find the position you want it in. And uh, slide the lock here. And uh, it's locked in place just like that. 
So works good for maybe going over or getting out of the way of something uh, obstructing your, your uh, swing in a certain position or um, maybe added leverage in a certain position. So if you don't want them to be locked, you can just have them as a regular floppy um, ratchet. Or you can just lock it in place in the standard position and you just have a regular ratcheting wrench. It's pretty cool. The uh, open head, nothing special about it. You got a little bit of dirt in there. Um, nothing special about it. No flank drive, no bite or anything like that. But it is um, very solid and probably won't spread on you because it's made out of some pretty good metal. Um, slim. Slim profile. It's not too bulky or thick. Um, what else? Oh, they are repairable. Um, so if you do break the ratcheting head on it, they will just take out the screw and replace the head on it. But probably with a Chinese made one. So I don't want to take that risk. Alright, so here we got the indexable ratcheting wrenches from Craftsman and gear wrench. How these work, same thing as the other way, but just with the push button. If you want it just a regular ratcheting wrench, lock it in place. And you got a pretty long ratcheting wrench, they'll give you plenty of leverage. If you want to get around an object, push it in, move it to the desired position. And once you're lined up with the splines, you could push it back in and lock it. Now it's fixed in that position. So if you need to get around something like dry shaft bolts, starter bolts, or anything for that matter that you need to get around, and you're limited with clearance, these work well. In this set, 19, 15, 14, 13, 11, and 10. So it does skip sizes. Why? I don't know. But with this set right here, you could get quite a bit done. The downfall is you don't have the fillers. So you don't have 18, 17, 16. You don't have 12 with this set which is kind of odd they do give you an 11 which is kind of strange 11 not used too often at least i don't come across it too often uh you would think if they are doing a standard set to fill the gaps that they would have no 11 and you have like a 7 16 on the other side but i guess not so it is what it is um but other than that these come in handy you never know when you're going to need them, and when you have them, you're glad you do. Uh, same thing with these. Nothing fancy on the open inside of it, just a standard wrench. These ones are a little bit lobster claw -ish, you know, but you're really not using these wrenches for the open end too much, so it's just kind of there, but... It does work and these are also very slim in profile and the push button sits flush so even with it locked or unlocked it's flush so it's kind of recessed you don't have it in the way you're not gonna bump it accidentally and ruin your direction or not your direction but your uh, basically you're not gonna lose your position so that's very nice these are not reversible, obviously. You have the arrow for direction and you just flip it the other way for tighten or loosen, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think that if it did have a switch for um, being reversible, it would get in the way in the type of situation you're using it for. And back to the flex head locking ratcheting wrenches. They come in a 19, 
17 is missing. 15, 13, 12, 10, and 8. I like the 8 millimeter that I've used quite a bit. Um, whereas the indexables only go down to 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter, obviously, I used a lot. I think everybody does. 12, good for like Hondas, imports, stuff like that. 13, same. 15. 17, uh, I don't use too often. That's probably why I didn't grab it. But 17 is, I guess, okay to have. I would have rather seen a 16, but that's just me, or an 18, actually. 18 would have been better. Or even better yet, you know what? It would have been better if there was no skips, but that's asking too much. <laughs> and uh, same with this set. No skips would be nice, but... Like again, not reversible. You flip to go in the direction that you want to go in. And there you go. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you've used anything like this before. Or if this is something new to you. They have been around a while, but not too often. I don't see too many mechanics that I've ever worked with have any of these in their box. So I thought I'd share that. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video in the series. Should be a good one. Later.